Could you wait a minute, please? Mrs. Robinson, do you think we could say, like, a few words to each other this time? I don't feel we have much to say to each other. Look, for months now, all we've done is just come up here and leap into bed together. Are you getting tired of it? I'm not, no, but I just... I thought that maybe we could, like, liven it up with a little conversation or something first. You want to tell me about some of your college experiences? Oh, my God. Think of another subject. How about art? Art, that's a good subject. You started off. You started off. I don't know anything about it. Well, what do you want to know about it? Are you more interested in modern art or in classical art? Neither. You're not interested in art? No. Then why do you want to talk about it? I don't. Now look, we're going to do this thing. We're going to have a conversation. <sighs> Tell me what you did today. I got up. I fixed breakfast for my husband. There, there's something we could have a conversation about your husband. Oh, him. What about him? <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, like, everything. I mean, I, I don't even know how you work this whole thing. Like, wh what do you say to him every night when you go out? Nothing. He's asleep. What, always? Well, like, wh what about when you come home? Doesn't he wake up? We sleep in separate bedrooms. Oh, I see. So I guess you two don't... I mean, I, I don't want to make it look like I'm prying here or anything, but I guess... Like I, I guess you don't sleep together or anything. No, we don't. Well, how long has this been going on? For God's sakes, Benjamin, could we please drop this? Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why did you marry him? See if you can guess. I can't see why you would marry the guy. Unless... You didn't have to marry him or anything, did you? Don't tell Elaine. Oh. You had to marry him because you got pregnant. Are you shocked? Well, no, but I... I didn't think of you and Mr. Robinson as the kind of people that... Did. All right, let's get to bed. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So how did it happen? I mean, do you feel like telling me what the circumstances were? Not particularly. Was he a law student at the time? Mm-hmm. And you were a student also? Mm-hmm. In college? <sighs> yes. What was your major in college? For God's sakes, Benjamin, why are you asking me all of these questions? Because I'm interested, Mrs. Robinson. Now, what was your major subject in college? Art. Art? I thought you just said you... I guess you kind of lost interest in it over the years then, huh? Kind of. So how did it happen? What? You and Mr. Robinson. How do you think? I mean, did, did he take you to his car? Would you go to a hotel? <sighs> we do it in his car, Benjamin. Oh, no. <laughs> in the car you did it? Well, I don't think we were the first. What kind of car was it? What? Do you remember the make of the car? What? Oh, my God. Please. Really, I really want to know. What, what, what was the make of the car? <sighs> It was a Ford, Benjamin. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> a Ford, that's great. God damn it, that's great. All right, now let's get to bed. <sighs> so old Elaine Robinson got started off in a Ford. Benjamin, don't talk about Elaine. <laughs> don't talk about Elaine? No. <laughs> Why not? Because I don't want you to. What's your big, some big secret I don't know about? Huh? I wish you'd tell me. There's nothing to tell. Well, why is she such a taboo subject all of a sudden, hmm? Well, I guess I'll just have to ask her, uh, uh, ask her out on a date and find out what the big... De Benjamin, don't you ever take that girl out. You understand me? Look, I have no intention of taking her out. Good. It's just kidding around. Good. Well, why shouldn't I anyway? 
I have my reasons. Well, let's hear them. No. Let's hear them, Mrs. Robinson, because I think I know what they are. I'm not good enough for her. I'm not good enough to take out your precious daughter. Isn't that the reason? I'm not good enough to even talk about her. Isn't that it? Let's drop it. No, no, we're not dropping it. Now, that's the reason, isn't it? I'm good enough for you, but I'm not good enough for your daughter. Isn't it? Yes. You go to hell. You go straight to hell, Mrs. Robinson. Do you think I'm proud of myself? Do you think I'm proud of this? Well, I am not. No, sir, I am not proud that I spend my time in a hotel room with a broken down alcoholic. And I'll tell you something. If you think I come here for any reason besides pure boredom, well, you are dead wrong. Because I'll tell you something else. This is the sickest, most perverted, disgusting thing I've ever done in my entire life. And you do what you want, but I'm getting the hell out. <sighs> That's how you feel about me, huh? That I'm sick and disgusting? Oh, no, don't start that. Don't start what? Don't start acting hurt. Well, don't you feel I should be a little bit hurt? Mrs. Robinson, you lie there and tell me I'm not good enough for your daughter. Is that what I said? In so many words. Benjamin, I want to apologize if that's the impression that I gave you. Well, two minutes ago you tell me I'm not good enough for your daughter and now you're sorry because I got that impression. Is that it? Look, I didn't mean it that way, okay? I just... I don't think you'd be right for each other, okay? But I would never say you're not as good a person as she is. You wouldn't? Of course I wouldn't. Well, what are you doing? Well, it's pretty obvious. You don't want me around here anymore, so... I guess I'm just gonna... gonna leave. Look. Look, I was a little upset back there, alright? I mean... I'm sorry I said those things, okay? I understand. I can see why it's sick and disgusting for you. No, look, I enjoy it, okay? I mean, I look forward to it. I mean, it's the, it's the one thing that I have to look forward to. You don't have to say that, you know. Well, I wouldn't say it if it weren't true. May I stay then? Yes, please, I want you to. Thank you. Well, don't thank me because I want you to. But you won't ever take out Elaine, will you? I mean, you have to give me your word on that. Look, why did you ever have to bring her up in the first place? I mean, it, it never even occurred to me to take her out. Then give me your word that you won't. Oh, my God. Promise me, Benjamin, that you will not take out Elaine. All right, I promise. For Christ's sake, I promise I never will take out Elaine Robinson, okay? <sighs> Thank you. All right. Benjamin, look. Let's not talk about it, all right? Let's not talk at all. 